All right, so have you ever been up on a website such as the one right in front of me? and you're on your browser and you have the option to save your password. Now, this is a very standard thing to do to just go ahead and click save and move forward. Although it may be a standard practice, it is not the most secure way to store your passwords. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you why it is that you should never store your passwords in the browser through a couple of demonstrations. And then after that, I'm gonna quickly overview some solutions that you can use to tackle this problem. Before I get started with demo one, allow me to overview the scope of attack and targeted devices. So for demo one, I will be overviewing and running a simple Python script to capture passwords through the Google Chrome browser. Because Google Chrome browser has the majority share in the browser market and Windows has the lead in the OS wars, I will be using both services to conduct my attack demo. For demo two, I will be switching up things, moving over to my home lab environment, which is running a Ubuntu 1804 desktop LTS version. This environment, I have a post exploitation tool installed to capture passwords. This time, the scope is Mozilla Firefox as my browser and Linux as my OS. Now, let's just talk about some general limitations to each of these attacks. First off, both demos require a scenario where the attacker has full remote or physical access with correct privileges to the target machine. Also, they both require Python Python 2.7 or 3.8 to be installed to use the Python script or post exploitation tool. All right, so with this behind us, let's get into demo number one. All right, so for the first demonstration, this is a bit outdated. All you need is a remote access to a Windows machine as well as Python installed. So with that being said, let's go ahead and transition over to my screen here. In front of me, I have a virtual connection to my home lab, which is running a virtual machine, uh, specifically Windows 10 Home Edition. Now, this virtual machine has the latest version of Google Chrome installed, and it has Python 3.8 installed. So for the first technique, it is a Python script, which allows you to get the username and password. Uh, in front of me, I have a Python script, which I pulled off from an online article, link in the description below, as well on the side of the screen, full credit goes to this author. I made just a couple of edits for my specific use case. Up until Chrome 79, you could get all the passwords and usernames. And to do this, all you had to do was go to the folder location where Chrome stores its passwords, get the website URL, the value and the password value right here from the SQL database, and then you could iterate through the lines and get the password. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this in my case and you're gonna see two things. The first thing is a tuple, and we're gonna go over that in a moment, but the second thing is an error. From Chrome 80 and up, uh, Google made a patch or changed their method of storing the password, which no longer allows you to unencrypt the password. In this case, it's a bit outdated. If you were to find a machine, say, in Chrome 79, you could go ahead and use this method. The first bit of output is a tuple, and in this case, we can locate both the uh, website as well as the username. So we have both of those things, and then as you can see here, we have an, an encrypted password, uh, which we don't have access to. Now you do have to have a saved password in Google Chrome, which I went ahead and saved, and there you go. You can get the website as well as the username, it's not very sophisticated anymore, it's outdated, but if it is up to Chrome 79, you can go ahead and do this method. Now let's get on to demonstration number two. All right, for the second demonstration, we're gonna be quickly reviewing the post exploitation tool. In this case, it's called Lazane. Target is gonna be Firefox and the Linux operating system. Now here in front of me, we see a GitHub page and it's an overview of the Lazane tool you can go ahead and install it for Linux, Mac, or Windows, and we're gonna be using the Linux in this case. Now, Lazane is a post-exploitation tool which allows you to extract passwords from various types of systems, including browsers and Wi-Fi. In this case, the scope is browsers. In a real-world scenario, once you would have access to the machine, you could go ahead and install Lazane on here, and then you could go ahead and extract the passwords. Now, Lazane is already installed on this environment, and is very easy to extract the passwords from whatever browser. It goes through a lot of browsers here. In front of me, I have a terminal session open, and I'm gonna go ahead and launch the Lazane tool using Python. I'm gonna be using the browser's option. So in front of me, once I hit enter, we are going to see that the passwords have been found. 
Now, in this case, what I've done is uh, I went ahead and saved a couple passwords to uh, the browser Firefox. And as you can see, we have the URL, login, and the password. So there you go. Zane is a very easy tool to use once you have gained access to the remote systems. All right, so with these two demonstrations behind us, what can you do to really remediate or I guess protect yourself against uh, an attack like this one? Well, let's go ahead and we'll review a solution that I propose. First off, I wouldn't save your passwords to your browser. Now, the limitation to this entire attack is that the attacker is already gonna have to have access to your machine, which that could be remotely or physical. So that is the big limitation to this attack. What I would recommend you do is look into a password management solution. Now, there's all types of password management solutions out there. Uh, you have locally hosted ones such as KeePass. You can even locally host your own password manager on your home network or you can go look into uh, something that's a little bit more convenient, such as third-party cloud-hosted password managers, 1Password, I highly recommend LastPass. There is all types of password managers out there. That's what I would recommend that you do instead of entering the limitation of uh, Chrome, Firefox, or any of the popular browsers, which only have your password saved to that specific browser, uh, I would recommend looking into a password management solution. All right, so that's it for today's video. Hopefully that you have learned something new. Uh, I just thought that this was a very interesting topic to just overview really quickly and, you know, maybe suggest a password management solution. If you've enjoyed, uh, please consider liking the video, which would help me. And yeah, until the next time, have a good day.